Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 554. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 453 to 457. Oh, this is a fun video here. We want to see formulas for looking up the last item. Now, I've done a few other videos, but I want to do uh, a bunch of different last lookups in one video. We want to find the last number, then we want to find the last word, then we want to see a problem with this formula, when, and then we want another formula that will calculate uh, what the last word is in a range. Finally, we want to find, look at a formula that will calculate last anything, whether it's a word or a number. All right, um, and I have lots of notes. There's some really cool tricks and some links uh, for uh, sources where I found these formulas. All right, the last, the first one is find the last value. This one's pretty straightforward. We'll use the lookup function equals lookup, and the lookup value, the biggest number that Excel understands is nine point. Nine 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 nine. There should be fourteen of them. Fourteen. If I don't get fourteen just right, if I put too many, you won't understand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ah, fifteen significant digits is as much as Excel understands. Then we want to say E scientific notation plus three o seven. That's the biggest number Excel can understand. Put that in there, or whatever big number, right? If you're dealing with dollars, you could put, uh, you know, a hundred trillion in there, and you're probably going to be just fine, or whatever. If you never go over above a million, then put a million there. Whatever that big number is, that's it. That will work. Here's the lookup value. Lookup function is programmed. If the lookup value right here is bigger than anything in the lookup range or uh, uh, array for us right here, it automatically takes the last one that's not empty. And that actually, that uh, feature or aspect of how lookup works, we'll use a couple other times. All right, control enter, and there we have it. If we put uh, a big number down here, like uh, 9.999 e plus 300, right, some big gigantic number, that is in scientific notation, you can see it up there, it sure enough will grab that, or whatever big number you put there. Now, look up the last word, and you have to have only words in here, because this formula will take uh, a number also. Equals, and what we want is look up again, now, the lookup value, instead of over here we did the biggest possible number, well, what's the, um, s since words are looked up alphabetically, right, so AA becomes before AB, well, the biggest possible thing we can put in here is what? We'll use the repeat function, and then repeat the letter Z in quotes. The biggest possible, uh, the biggest, the most, characters allowed for lookup value is 255, so that's what we'll use, 255. Now think about this. This is like that big number over here. It's totally ridiculous, uh, but it'll work 100% of the time. Um, and here's the reason why, right? No phrase or word starts consecutively <laughs> with Z 250 times, so that'll work. All right, so that's parallel to this big num over here. So I highlight this whole range over here. Same thing, we have a lookup value and then a lookup vector. Because it can't find the biggest possible thing here, it'll always take the last cell that's not empty. Oops, I have to forgot to put my close parentheses right there. I'll click yes. All right, oh, what is it doing? Ah, it's picking up that blank. So this formula will not differentiate when formulas deliver blanks. Some people do have formulas. I myself have formulas like this. So that formula will not work in that case. Also, I went ahead and put z repeat z 256 times just to show you that it's that that's not going to find that. But what if I put something here? Rad. It'll go ahead and pick it up. Now this formula is great. If I put a, a number here, however, it will uh, skip right over that. Now, um, most people don't have formulas that deliver blanks, so this for formula is great, and the concept is straightforward. 
just put in the biggest possible alphabetically sorted word that always is going to come at the end. All right, now what if you do have blanks like this? So we have a blank here, and we do not want that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So right now, this is the last word. That actually is hanging over from that formula right there. But that's the last word. The last formula we just did would pick up the blank, but we want a formula that will not pick up the blank. Let's look at the search function. The search function finds, for example, if I say search for the letter V in this, it'll give me a 3 because 1, 2, 3, it's the third character. But watch this trick. We'll just tell search to find one character. Question mark is the wild card for a single character. That is the trick for skipping over these blanks because one character is not equal to a blank. A blank is no characters. It's still a thing in the cell that that formula is picking up, but this trick will skip over that. All right, so we say find any first character within this whole range right here. Now, what does this do? This is actually going to deliver, because remember, search delivers numbers. Watch this. And what is the first character? It's always going to be 1. So it'll get a 1 here, a 1 here, a 1 here, a 1 here, nothing, or uh, 1 there, and nothing there. But watch this. This is a, um, when you highlight it and hit the F9 key, it's going to deliver 1s and errors, right? Lookup will skip over the errors if we give it a number. Control Z. So now we can do lookup. And what are we going to look up? Remember the biggest possible. We'll put a comma right here. The biggest possible number we're going to encounter here, F9, to evaluate it, just to show you what it looks like, is 1, right? So all I have to do is put a lookup value of 2. Control Z. I'm going to put a lookup value of 2. So there's the lookup value. Again, the same idea. Lookup always, if you give it a big number for lookup, it and it can't find it here, it'll race all the way to the end and take the last thing. Now, this is the array lookup vector right here, we actually, because this is uh, errors and ones, we actually need to then use the, f the first option where we have a lookup value, lookup vector, and result vector. So I'm going to say, please return this, whatever's in this range here. So the way that works, it finds a 2, it finds the related position here, it says true, and then it goes over here in the same position here and brings that value back. All right, close parentheses. Notice it skipped over that blank right there. If I go ahead and put bloop down here, oh sorry, enter, then it will go ahead and get bloop right there. All right, so that is if you want to skip over a blank from a formula. Now, a formula to pick up anything, just the last thing. Hey, we'll use lookup again. And uh, we're going to create. Uh, uh, similar to this formula, we're going to use the uh, lookup vector and the result vector, and we're going to create a string of um, errors and ones again. So the lookup value can be 2, comma. Now watch this, lookup vector. What we're really f trying to find is not blank, right? Well, we know how to do not blank. We highlight the whole range. and do the not symbol, less than, greater than, and then double quote, double quote. This means not, that means blank. Now, right now, if I highlight this and hit the F9 key to evaluate, that's going to give us trues and falses. That's not what we want. We need numbers, so Control Z. Here's the deal, though. If you put this in parentheses and you tried to convert trues and falses, and some of us know that you could use double negative, guess what? That'll give us a string of, if I hit F9, ones and zeros, and the two, since zero is a value, it'll just keep going, keep going, and pull a zero. So that won't work. Our normal tricks for converting trues and falses to uh, ones and whatever won't work. Times one, the other common way to do it, won't work either. Guess what? We go one divided by, because what? is 1 divided by uh, true. It's 1. What's 1 divided by false? It's really like a 0, so it gives you a divide by error. So if I hit F9 here, ah, similar to this last formula, over here we had 1s and errors. We just have a different type of error here. This will work just fine. Control Z, comma, and then the result vector will be this right here. All right, and then close parentheses, Control Enter. So now, whatever I put here, if I delete this, it'll give me DDD. If I 
one or four, all right? So that'll just give me the last of anything. So that's a little bit about uh, lookup. The feature that lookup always goes to the very end when it tries to find a big thing. That was big number. Uh, that was big word, right? This was uh, using the search to find the first character and everything. And this, of course, was finding all the ones that are not blank and using one divided by. All right, we'll see you next trick.